Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and work on the code. So the enemy X and the enemy Y variable we do not need to change because the moment we duplicated it, it already made it specifically for the enemy that we have. So we don't have to worry about that. Now, what we do have to worry about is the animation costumes. Uh, so I just want to make sure that I have the correct amount and in the correct order and that they've all been selected correctly as well. So I only have up until 5, so that means to switch costume and weight, I can go ahead and trash it because I will not need it because this one has a little bit less. If that one has more, then obviously you guys can go ahead and add more. The next thing I want to go ahead and do is scroll down here, and this is going to be when my enemy is going to show up. So the first time it's going to show up is after this wait happens. Now, we can go ahead and change this so that we can wait longer before that enemy shows up. So, for example, for those of you who like making bosses or that like to have uh, kind of a very strong foe showing up a little bit later, you want to go ahead and increase this time. So, for myself, I'm going to say maybe every... Uh, for the first time that it appears, it'll have to be 50 seconds before it first appears. Then, for the next wait, this is going to be what's going to then create it again and again and again. So how much time do you want to wait before it's created again and shows up? Do you want it to be the same as the first time that you made it show up? So maybe if you want, you can have this one show up a little bit sooner, and then afterwards, it won't show up until a little bit more later. So for example, maybe I want it to show up at first in 30 seconds. And then the next time I want it to appear, it's going to be at 70 seconds. So now players know, hey, there is a big danger that comes, but you don't know exactly when it will show up again. Uh, so you guys can play around with these two different numbers. Once you're done, you can play around with the size of it as well. So this will also give it a little bit of a difference for a lot of players. Um, which is going to be how big it is compared to the other enemy that you have. So maybe because I have a snake, so maybe for my um, for my first enemy, I'll set its size to 50 because I want it to be a little bit smaller. But maybe for my second enemy, I'll go ahead and make this one maybe 130 because I want the snake to be very big. Uh, and that's a nice way of having um, different enemies and also making it a little bit difficult for the player because smaller enemies are easy to maneuver around. The bigger enemies make it a little bit harder because they really have to move a little bit faster in a certain direction just to make sure they can avoid being touched by them. Uh, so you guys have that to also look forward to. So those are the small changes that you can make to your enemy in order to make it a little bit different. Uh, so again, that's going to be the costumes that you guys are going to be changing. It's going to be the time when it first shows up and then every time it continues showing up afterwards. And it's going to be the size as well. We're going to go ahead and also play around with the code so that we can go ahead and change this so that it kind of works like the uh, food where we actually get to change uh, the different colors that the second enemy shows up as. So we can do this, uh, I'm going to scroll the way at the bottom, and we're going to go ahead and add a, when I start as a clone, I'm going to go ahead and go on to looks, I'm going to add a set color effect 2, I'm going to go on to operators and add a pick random, from 0 100 and every time a new clone is shown uh, then it's going to go ahead and change the color for us and we don't have to worry about it so that's also a nice little touch um, that we can go ahead and do so with that out of the way um, that's going to be it for the deep dive lessons uh, remember that uh, we can create more enemies if you guys want to. Excuse me. You guys can create more enemies if you want to by just following the same process of duplicating it, creating new costumes for it, changing a little bit of the code, changing the time, because that's going to be very important, just to make sure that there's not too many happening all at the same time. 
uh, and you guys can have different things showing up just like you have different things showing up for your food. Uh, and then uh, you guys can go ahead and look forward to our week four lesson. So for this one, even though you click on the green flag, it still won't work because you don't have the introduction screen done and kind of set up so that it can actually start working with all of uh, the different pieces. That's what we're going to go ahead and do for next week. And you'll be able to finally test out your game, see how everything is working, see how everything is looking, do the couple of changes that you want, and then continue moving on uh, to creating more different pieces in order to finalize our work.